Don't adjust your set. This is coming to you on green screen. It's Fantasy Football Clubhouse! <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to another exciting week here on Fantasy Football Clubhouse, the fantasy football show about the League Schmuck Fantasy Football League. I'm Rob Sisternino and I'm joined every week here on the show by my co-host, here he is, Commissioner Polari. <sighs> Commish, always a pleasure. Yeah. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. uh, the Commission has fallen on hard times uh, now at 0-3. I'm not really sweating it. It's, you know, I started last year 0-5. It's really not a big deal. Well, here's another guy that we're going to have on the show today who has also fallen on some hard luck. He is the general manager and coach and team president of the Saharan gynecologist. Uh, please give a warm fantasy football clubhouse to Mike Kirshner. Boo! <laughs> Mike, welcome to the clubhouse. Thank you for having me on this fun afternoon. Now, a big subject in the fantasy football circle this week was uh, the question of, is Mike Kirshner a jinx? Uh, the gynecologists have suffered several huge injuries and uh, lackluster performances throughout the year. What are your thoughts, Mike? I think they're going to start talking about my fantasy team just like they talk about the Madden cover. I think it's going to be a lot of, if you go on that team, you're going you're gonna to be out for the season. So now, is it you, do you think? Like, is there something you're doing wrong karmically in your life? I, I think it was uh, the big praise from that first weirdo from my face. The best team would be... The Thank you, Mojave Sam. Thank you. What did what he say? I believe he said the Mojave gynecologists. I think he's the one who ruined me. I knew it was going to happen when he said it. Sam McMahon. Yeah, he's a douche. Yeah. <laughs> now, this past week, you lost to uh, Kripsopolis K-Bob, now Team Mark Wahlberg. Uh, what went wrong? Let's talk about Lee Evans. Lee Evans, quite a disappointment. Then we got uh, LT, who scores about the same amount of points as the backup receiver for the Jets, and that's on the practice squad. <laughs> and that's about it. How many points has, has Lee Evans recorded over the year? More than your mom, Tim. So, sorry? More than your mother. That's just really uncalled for. <laughs> uh, Mike, if you had to do it all over again, is LT still the number one pick? Uh, yeah. Look at uh, look at LJ. Look at Frank Gore. Frank? Steven Jackson's injured. Sean Alexander has a cast. Okay, uh, Frank Gore is the best one. of the bunch, pal. Frank Gore's got the most points. And by the way, Lee Evans only scored one more point than my mother. Thank you. That's a burn. Now, Commissioner Flaherty, uh, he was the subject of a number of trade rumors uh, this past week. Commissioner Flaherty, do you want to comment about some of this? I do not. No comment. I believe that we have a uh, piece of footage of Commissioner Flaherty uh, working on one of his deals. Can we, can we roll that? Let's talk turkey. Yeah, I want Peyton Manning. I want Peyton Manning for, let's see here. Joe Nenny, the San Francisco kicker. You don't like that. <laughs> well, you have to like it. I'm a fucking commissioner. All right? You're going to accept it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, then you're not going to be in the league next year. Oh, you don't care. Real? Oh, you'll start your own league. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, but... Hey. Hey. Hold up. Commissioner Polari, that's a pretty uh, incriminating piece of evidence. Barely. I mean, really, it's not. It's not that big of a deal. You'll, you'll see what happens when it goes through. It's, it'll be a fair trade. The legal vote, vote on it. All right, then. Uh, Mike <laughs> Kirshner. corrupt. Are you ready for the pick segment? Uh, I think I am. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Pick segment time. All right, here it is, folks, the exciting pick segment. Uh, Commissioner Polari, how did we do last week? I was 6-0 and again, and Rob was 0-6. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Well, the scores are subject to change at any time. All right, so let's get to the pick segment. A lot of mismatches this week. Uh, the closely contested game of the week, 
the Saharan gynecologists of Mike Kirshner take on Mike Vick's dogs. Um, even though Kirshner is supposed to score 113 points in this game, he's still a five-point underdog. Mike, who you got? I, I gotta go with myself because uh, Mike Vick got, just got the marijuana found on him. He's not gonna be able to play. Team's gonna be lose. He's not playing anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll take Mike Vick's, Mike Vick's dogs because I don't think uh, Kirshner is gonna gonna win more than three games this year. I see his season being over. I'm also going to go with Mike Vick's dogs. I think Kirshner is trying a little too hard with the Dr. Psychotics jokes department picture. Uh, I don't really get it. I'm going to go with Mike Vick's dogs. <laughs> Team Rape uh, is a 14-point underdog versus Team Dan Levitard, one of the surprise teams this season. Mike, who you got? I got to go with Dan Levitard. His, his players are old, but they're doing good. Yeah, I'm also going to go with Levitard. It's going to even out the playing field a little bit. Team Rape had won two in a row. He can't keep it up. Levitard. I'm on the Levitard bandwagon that, as well. Make that three for Dan Levitard. Team Ari Gold uh, is a big favorite. 15 points against Team Mark Wahlberg, who's starting both Brian Leonard and Ernest Graham at running back. Mike, who do you have? Well... I think I gotta go with Ari Gold because I just don't think Wahlberg's any good. Yeah, Ari Gold is on the upswing right now. Uh, Team Mark Wahlberg is a loser, just like the real life Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Okay. I cannot pick a team with Eli Manning at quarterback. I like Team Mark Wahlberg. Fantasy Boy, no. aka Frank Honeycock, takes on Fantasy Girl in an epic matchup. Mike, who do you have? I don't pick horse. <laughs> so who do you have? <laughs> Frank Honeycock. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Honeycock. I am not gonna pick Fantasy Girl. Really, it's just she just doesn't have a good squad or a good fantasy uh, game. It's Honeycock all the way. Even though she did have a half-hearted apology on the message board, I think there's too much firepower over there in Frank Honeycock's arsenal. I like Honeycock. Pac-Man Stainmakers takes on CFL Scrubs A. CFL Scrubs A is a 22-point underdog in this one. Pac-Man Stainmakers looking to rebound this week. Mike, who do you have? Well, uh, I think Elliot Wilkerson is the Kurt Tumble of our league this year. He's a little too cocky. So I'm picking you, Rob. Go with you. Yes. Yeah, I'm going with the Stainmakers. Uh, you got Maroney going this week. Uh, as you can see, I've got, I got a throwback Patriots jersey on here. And uh, it's for good reason. The Pats are going to be 4-0. Maroney's going to run all over them. Uh, CFL Scrubs A has been the hard luck team so far, scoring a high amount of points every week, but losing more often than not. I like the Stainmakers. And in the biggest mismatch of the week, Team Voodoo is a 27-point underdog to uh, Big Blue 3. Uh, commission Team Voodoo is you. Yeah, that's me. All right. Mike, who do you have? Uh, I think I gotta go with Timothy because he, he's got magic on his side. Okay, thank you. Black magic, very mysterious. Um, I am not gonna go with Team Voodoo though. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get in Charlie's head, really. Yeah, I think it's a too big of a deficit to overcome. Uh, I think that the commish drops to 0 and 4. I like Big Blue three. Even though the commissioner may lose four games in a row. It still doesn't mean it's not time for Commissioner Polari's League Note. You know you can quit until it's won. League Schmuckites, I may be 0-3, but it's okay. I've changed my name to Team Voodoo. It's very mysterious. No one really knows what Voodoo is. Except for me. Oh, hey, Tim. I'm Charlie Kenny. I'm playing you this week. Oh, really, Charlie? Oh, look what this is. It's a voodoo pin. Look, 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 you're gonna die now. Look, look, I'm stabbing you in the face because Team Voodoo is gonna win, motherfucker. Come on. Okay, get that fucking boom mic out of the shot. <laughs> Commissioner Polari's gonna win it all. Uh, very poignant words once again by uh, the commissioner. Uh, Are we Mike, done yet? 
Yes. Uh, Mike, thank you very much for joining us again on the Clubhouse. Good luck for you this week. And good luck to all the teams in the League Schmuck Fantasy Football League. We'll be back here next week on the Clubhouse to break down all the action. Good luck, everybody. For the Commissioner Polari, I'm Rob Cisternino. Good night. <laughs>